Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing the Goodreads tag. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into the questions. Oh yeah! Question number one, what is the last book you marked as read on Goodreads? For me, that was City of Glass by Cassandra Clare, which it was epic, let me tell you, epic. I'm currently working my way through the series in order to catch up with the release date of City of Heavenly Fire, which comes out May 27th, so I'm powering through the series. Question number two, what are you currently reading? I'm currently reading Attachments, which is conveniently in my car, so I can't hold it up to show you, but here, have a picture of the cover. Ooh, how nice. Look at those, look at those chairs. Oh, look at that paperclip, so nice, yeah. Attachments is actually the book explosion book of the month for May, and I'm also reading City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. Question number three, what was the last book you marked as to be read? The book that I just added to my TBR list is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, which again, don't have the book, but here, have a picture. Ooh, isn't that so nice? Look at it, so beautiful. Again, this is actually the Book Explosion Book of the Month for June, and I'm really pumped to read it, mostly because I have no idea what this book is about, and that excites me. I think it's so fun going into a book not knowing anything about it, and I know nothing about this book. The summary for the book is so vague, and I am intrigued, and I am excited to read this book in June. Number four, what book do you plan to read next? So after I read Attachments and City of Fallen Angels, can you guess what I'm gonna move on to? I'm gonna be moving on to City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare, and after I read this, I will be all caught up with the series. Ah, oh, yes. Question number five, do you use the star rating system? I do, but I don't like the star rating system. I still use it, but I don't like it. I wish that they would give us something like half stars or even just a percentage rating. I think that that would just make rating books so much easier. But no, Goodreads has to be annoying and just stick with the same rating system for 10 years. Question number six, are you doing a 2014 Goodreads challenge? I kind of am. It is my first time actually participating in the challenge. I set a goal just to see if I had the possibility of meeting that goal, but it's not really in the back of my mind all the time and I'm not stressed by the challenge at all. But yeah, I challenged myself to read 70 books this year and I currently am at 26, so I think that I can do it. I'm currently like right on track with my goal, I think, so it's gonna be good in the hood. I just said that, so yeah. Question number seven, do you have a wish list? I do indeed, but it is not on Goodreads. Yes. Question number eight, what book do you plan to buy next? And the book that I'm planning to buy next is The Daughter of Smoke and Bone, the first book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Reason being is because Caddy Tastic has been after me about reading that book and about reading that trilogy, so I'm giving in, I'm going to buy the book, and I'm going to read it at some point this summer for Cat from Caddy Tastic because she just really wants me to read it, so I'm going to do it because she says it's good, and I believe her, I trust Cat's opinions, and I am actually really excited to read it because it just sounds really interesting. Question number nine, do you have any favorite quotes, and would you like to share one? Yes, I do, and no, I don't want to share it with you. Kidding! Let's share. Okay, so this one is from Neil Gaiman's Make Good Art. Go and make interesting mistakes. Make amazing mistakes. Make glorious and fantastic mistakes. Break rules. Leave the world more interesting for your being here. So that is one of my favorite quotes. I have several listed on my page, so if you want to see more, you can just go to my Goodreads page and see some of my favorite quotes. I will say, though, that I hardly ever update it, so the quotes on there are probably really outdated. Question number 10, who are your favorite authors on Goodreads? I have a few on my favorites list, but the thing is, not all of them are necessarily my favorite authors. And the reason for this is, even if there is an author that I want to follow on Goodreads, I have to become a fan of them, and they are automatically put on my favorite authors list. So even if I don't consider them my favorite author, Goodreads kind of forces them to be your favorite author, even if it's just somebody that you are interested in following to see blog posts by them or what they're reading or books that they're coming out with. So it's kind of frustrating and I don't think that the favorite authors thing is a very good feature and I think that they should update it or something because some of these people on this list are not necessarily my favorite authors. But anyways, I will read you the list of authors who are on my favorites list. We have Jordan Sonnenbach, Alan Zadoff, Lisa M. Stassi, Jesse Andrews, Victoria Schwab, she is one of my favorites, Ransom Riggs, again, one of my favorites, Brian Selznick, he's pretty cool, Rainbow Rowell, she's pretty frickin' amazing. John Corey Whaley, he's pretty great too. Maggie Stiefvater, I'm a fan. Lemony Snicket, King. Daniel Handler, Boss. 
So yes, there are a few on there that are my favorite authors, but again, like I said, a few of them are not necessarily my favorite. Question number 11, have you joined any groups on Goodreads? The only group that I actively participate in is the Book Explosion group, because let's be honest, it's the bomb diggity. Get it? Book Explosion? Books? Bomb? Explosion? Diggity? Books? Yeah? Cool. Question number 12, what could Goodreads do better? Oh man, do I have a list? I have a list, and I'm going to share that list with you because I think Goodreads could use some updating, so let's just see what I have on my list. Firstly, they could update their freaking layout. I'm pretty sure that they've had the same layout for like five years. They need to change it. Let's be honest, I have nothing wrong with the layout. I think it's great, but sometimes you just need to change things up a little bit. Spice up your life, you know? They need to remove friend limits. It's not fair. I want to be friends with all of you, and I can't because they have a limit on my friend count. The notification system is so annoying. It updates you on literally every little thing on Goodreads, and I should be able to modify the notifications that I get. The rating system. I've already talked about my feels on the rating system, but give us half stars or percentages. Either of those would make my heart happy. The commenting system is really annoying as well. It's just really messy and disorganized, and I wish that it was more structured. And the search bar is probably the worst ever. They need to update the dang search bar. It is so bad. <laughs> I genuinely love Goodreads, and honestly, I don't even really care that much about all those things on that list, but those are just some things that I think that they could improve on. So that's the end of the tag, and while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and update you guys on some of my social medias, because I am talking about a social media website. So go ahead and follow me on Goodreads.com com backslash jesse the reader instagram.com backslash jesse george twitter.com backslash jesse the reader do i have anything else i do tumblr jesse the reader tumblr com and i think that that's it so thank you for watching guys let me know down below some of the things that you think goodreads could improve on because there's a lot of things that i think that they could just do to enhance their website so let me know down below and i will see you guys soon with a new video later